Elmy Ducks, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. So I'm coming to you this evening with a bit of a mammoth unboxing. I've received, not all today, yesterday and today, I've received like, ooh, it's like a tower of stuff. All these packages, like seven, yeah, seven different packages um, that have arrived all at once, and it happens like that sometimes, doesn't it? Sometimes there's a drought, not very often, let's be honest. And then sometimes, you know, they just all seem to, to come at once, and that's what's happened. So, some of the things I've ordered, I've, I'm still waiting on a couple of things that are coming from like overseas, the Anna K back up, etc. I don't think that's here. I think these are. With the exception of a couple of gifts, I think they're mainly what I've ordered from like Wordery, Book Depository and stuff like that. But I also believe that one of the packages in here, which I'm really excited about, is the uh, deck and book from Poppy Palin, creator of the Everyday Enchantment Tarot, because I did her deck last week as part of Throwback Thursday, and she was in the chat, and she was so touched by... Um, for me doing that and highlighting the deck, that she has gifted me her out of print original Waking the Wild Spirit Tarot and book, which I wanted for like forever. It was a total shock and surprise and so, so generous of it because she's very, very limited. If not, this could even be the last one. You know, she said, I do have a set and I want to gift it to you. So that was really kind. Um, so let's just dive in. I mean, the first one I know this is from um, this is from Jeff over at Tattooed Spirit, and I, I don't know what it is. He said it's just a little something. He saw it and thought of me and said I just want to pop it in the post. And Jeff's such a great guy. I feel very honoured to call him a friend, and I also feel very humbled that he calls me a friend. Um, yeah, it's just it's just brilliant. Wow, whatever this is, smells amazing. <laughs> there's incense in here. There's a little little note. <laughs> it's for Brian Simon. <laughs> and then there's this little tiny little uh, thing here, and it says, "Just for fun, be well, friend." Thank you, Jeff. That's really kind. So, we've got some incense. Oh, and it's the India Temple Incense by Song of India. Oh, and that is what smells so amazing. Oh, that is one of the nicest smells for incense. I'll definitely be lighting that soon. And then let's have a little look at this. wrapped. <laughs> I have no idea what this can be. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Look at that. I really love it. It's a duck incense holder. But I love it because it's kind of like duck shaped but there's no features. It's like a bit like when I was telling you at the weekend when I went to that metaphysical shop and there was like these uh, Buddhas and God, but they were just the shapes and outlines. And that's kind of what we've got here with this duck. But I love it. So that makes sense is put the incense in. Shall we light, shall we light one of these gorgeous smelling incense? Wow. Oh, so nice. Jeff, thank you so much. Every time I use this now, I'll think of you, my friend. So, thank you. Yay. <laughs> that is awesome. I love it. Thank you. Um, what else have we got? Let's have a look. I don't think I've ordered any books other than um, 
I did order a book by Poppy. Um, I think from Wordery. Oh no, this! This is the Tree Owen book. And there's a catalogue here, Green Man 2019, showing all their kind of products and things like that. That's interesting. There's one on dowsing and oh, there's all sorts in here. I'll have a look through there. Um, that's an invoice. Yeah, so Tree Owen, and this is by Glennie Kindred. Um, and I like this because I, I've mentioned before, I, with ADD, I do struggle with very big, thick books. Um, and this is beautiful. It's lovely illustrations. It's got um, all about tree oems, how to make your own. And then there is something for each, each one. So it starts with birch number one, and it gives you um, what it means, new start, new beginnings, inception, birth, rebirth, springtime, fertility, new ideas, a journey, initiation, and then the underlying energy. And you get loads, you get a good three pages, then it goes into Rowan, um, and it gives you all the information for them. And then using your own sticks for divination at the back. Um, so you can lay them like that. First choice, second choice, third choice. And on the information I got from Spirit of Old, it said when uh, using your sticks for, uh, for divination to lay three out. So, so that's great. So that's just enough for me. And I did create a little pack here. It's my certificate of authenticity, dated, signed and everything. And then everything that I've um, printed off about Owen is in there as well. So that can go in there for now. So that's fab. Um, what else, what else, what else? It's so exciting. I don't know what to, what to do. Let's look at book depository. So I'm still on my Amazon ban because of how frustrated I am with them. Um, uh, yeah, so this is my backup deck of the everyday enchantment. So um, I wanted a backup because my favorite decks, I do like to have a backup um, for, as I've, as I've mentioned. Um, and I trimmed the, um, just find the scissors, I trimmed my copy and I don't think I'm going to on this one. I think I'm going to leave this one perfectly intact, uh, being then let's say a backup. So just to show you the difference, so my card of the day, which I have out here, <laughs> so that's my card, oh, card for the day, I knew that would happen which I have on the stand, is the Knight of Coins. And I really, I loved reading the message about that this morning. So it was talking about how focused he hit, how focused he is, you know, on the task in hand. Uh, even though people are mocking and doing other leisure activities, he's actually finding pleasure in what he's doing and that's his leisure activity. And it might not be, you know, to what everybody else uh, thinks. Somebody's going past on a skateboard, uh, someone's doing wheelies on a bike, other people here are, are sniggering. And it, it was just lovely to read, read about it. So I edged and uh, trimmed my deck and took the borders off the side. So just to show you a comparison, I love this box set as well. Absolutely lovely box set. Search. So the majors are in black and then they have corresponding colours. These are the fantastic backs. So you see how much of the back that you lose if you trim them. What's the betting? It would take me forever to find the fall. I can always pause this video, can't I, if it does take a long time. Okay, so here we have 
the cards side by side. So they're not massive borders actually, um, but you can see the size difference when you when you trim them down. But I'm not going to trim down this one as a backup. I don't think. Not unless anything was to happen to this, if it got damaged or ruined in some way and I wanted this as a working deck, then I might consider it. But as a backup, I think I'm happy uh, to leave it as such. So that's my backup deck of the Everyday Enchantment by Poppy Palin. Pop that there. And... that there and then we've got this one now this is really heavy I think I know what this is if I'm right this is from Michelle although it's got a printed label on it however that could be the post office that's done that It's wrapped really well. <laughs> so let's see. Oh wow. It really is wrapped well. It must be from Michelle. <laughs> and there's more wrapping. Travel storage case. Yes. So she now Michelle is. Um, I won't mention her channel name because I, she hasn't said I can. But she's been scaling back a lot of her decks, and she said <coughs> any that you don't want, just send on. Um, and she was the one last month who sent me the Earthly Souls. Um, is it Earthly Souls? you know, the, the witchy deck, and also Healers of the Earth, and I passed on Healers of the Earth, and she sent a few decks, in. oh, she's put some crystals in as well, she is so lovely, and this is a gorgeous piece of amethyst, look at that, how beautiful, oh wow, Michelle, there's a gorgeous smoky quartz, Wow, look how beautiful that is. That is so kind of you. She's so lovely. I've got the Rebel deck. <laughs> um, and a few of us that I will um, be passing on, so I'll come back to them at a, another time. Oh my goodness, there's another crystal. Wow. Look at that, that's a beautiful port. So lovely of you. This must have cost a fortune to send as well. And the deck that um, I said I would take off her, which I'm really excited about, is the Open Portals, um, which is an oracle. Uh, it's very um, similar to like a playing card oracle. It's by Prisma Visions and Light Visions tarot um, so it's called open portals playing cards um, these this is the back which is beautiful it's in this beautiful box absolutely gorgeous uh, open portals is a fully illustrated poker sized playing card deck uh, by James R Eads and can be used to play any card game this deck is unique because each card has its own image and story within this box are two guides that tell the myth of the open portals and explain how to use it as both an oracle deck and a new energetic game of strategy and luck. This game is a hybrid between a classic card game and a more contemporary magic card game. In the game of open portals, four players represented by four magics, time, light, nature and spirit. Players use the powers of gods to sway the balance of the game and call upon the mythic Kuzo and Kuaos, I think that's how you say it, 
to tip the fates of other players, all while focusing on collecting portals for points. Timing is everything in this game of infinite possibilities. So it is a game that you can play, but it's also a gorgeous Oracle deck. Um, there is instructions on this side. It's a fold out. I know all about this because I've been lusting after it for such a long time. I think the first time I saw it, Kelly at the Truth and Story was showing it. Um, and same here. And then I'll just show you a few of the cards. I mean, look how beautiful this box is. It is so gorgeous. And look there, you really get that sense of going into a portal, don't you? Um, Michelle has edged hers, black backs, and she's edged in black. And then these are the cards, which are just beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to get going with these. They're amazing and they feel lovely. They have that lovely linen feel to them. Just beautiful. And they're so Prisma Vision ish, <laughs> as they would be. Which, you know, I love Prisma Visions and Light Visions. I, I do have them both. So that's the open portals. Thank you, uh, Michelle. And uh, yeah, I will have a look at the other decks as well that you've sent and see if I can. Uh, find homes for them. Okay, three left. Let me just have a sup of coffee. Oh. <clears throat> Nothing nice in getting home after a full day at work and having a first cup of coffee at home. Coffee at work's nice, but coffee at home just tastes so much better. Okay, what do we have here? <laughs> oh, I know what this is. This is from Sandra. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna to say too much about this because this is gonna have its own video. Because there has been talk in the online YouTube tarot community that potentially this is the worst deck ever made. And I went and watched a walkthrough video. I think it was Tracy HD. And if it is, I'll find it and I'll link it below. Um, and I actually, something extra in, she said she had, I actually really enjoyed the, the walkthrough and I, I liked the look of the cards. And then I thought it was really strange because everybody seems to uh, poke fun at this deck. And I, I get, you know, decks aren't going to be to everybody's uh, tastes, but... I, I try and remember as well that this is somebody's work. Um, so I'm never, if I was, if, and nobody has done this, but I'm just saying if I review this and it's not for me, I'm never going to be openly cruel. I will critique it, but I won't, I won't be um, horrible about it. I'll just, I'll just pass it on. But actually I quite liked it. And because everybody was saying, oh, it's so bad, it made me want it. <laughs> so, um, so thank you, Sandra, because she didn't want it anymore and she's passed it on. So it is the Sacred Circle Tarot. She's put, encloses the Sacred Circle Tarot and Bork. I hope you enjoy it, although I rather suspect you won't. I have also enclosed a crystal pebble. It is a black moonstone. I hope you like it. Love and hug, Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. Black moonstone. Don't have one of them. And Sandra wraps everything so beautifully she really does oh wow it's a lovely little bag and pick the ribbon oh that is beautiful that is really beautiful look at that how gorgeous oh Black moonstone, that's good. I love moonstone anyway, but oh, that's wonderful. Pop that there so I don't. So it comes with a book. <laughs> she, I mean, look, most people, myself included, kind of shove things into a box, <laughs> but she wraps it in bubble wrap and then she wraps it in tissue paper. Her attention to detail. And it's 
Rebecca the other night in her chat, she was like, it comes with a book. It does come with a book. And look at the size of this book. So it is 322 pages. It is very pagan. Oh, it says here, a Celtic pagan journey. It's Anna Franklin and illustrated by Paul Mason. Um, yeah, and I'm not... I'm not going to do show many of the cards because, like I say, I'm going to do a video about this probably on Sunday, maybe or t yeah, Sunday probably. Oh, it's wrapped so well I can't get in it. Oh, I need to put the scissors. Yep, and there's the deck, the sacred circle. I'll just show you one card. <laughs> and I'll show you the backs. <laughs> I like that. Um, it has some additional cards, like for spreads. So, oh, it's a nice size deck. I think not a lot of people like the borders. So let's show you the death card. There's the death card. The mat. But I will do a full video about it. So look out for that over over the next few days. I don't want this video to be really, really long. Okay, so the next one is from from Robin. Now Robin, um, on his channel, Toadstool Tarot, um, showed some playing cards that he'd got. And I really like them. And he mentioned on there that he'd bought an extra set for a friend. I, when I watched it, you know, I never imagined that that, that friend was, was me. And he said, um, do you like them? And I said, yes, I've just added them to my Amazon wish list because I still use the Amazon wish list because then I'll order. It reminds me of what I want to get and then I order from Wordery or Book Depository. And he said, well, don't order them because that extra set is, is for you, which, is, uh, which was really nice. So there's a card in here. <laughs> I love it. And he's written on the back. Oh, he's put, Simon, consider this an early birthday present. If you're handy with needle and thread, <laughs> you can add a button and loop or glue on a Velcro to the tuck bag. Always put it in a bag. Uh, the music is a polar opposite to my harp stuff. Always sent a CD, as it, and a tiny bonus in the tiny bag. I hope you'll do a walkthrough of the cards as your lights and camera are better than mine. Happy birthday, Halloween and Christmas. <laughs> Robin. Thank you, Robin. That's really sweet. Happy birthday, Halloween and Christmas. Oh, and look, he does the most amazing uh, crochet. I showed you some of his bags before. This is a larger bag um, and it's a, a nice tuck one. So um, that's fabulous. I need to put things where I don't throw them out with the rubbish. Okay, so, and Robin, Robin as I've mentioned before, he's a, a, an accomplished musician. He's had a long career in the entertainment business and Dark Day was one of his bands. And this is um, another one of his CDs. Strange Clockwork, fabulous. And there's 20, tracks on there with things like Sinister Mister in Seaweed Tweed. <laughs> Love it. So I'll have a listen to that. Then he's put this little pouch. Oh wow. Oh there's a little piece of calcite, orange calcite. And then this is, look at this, it's a tiny Teeny weeny Lord Ganesh, but it's really heavy. That is gorgeous. 
I'm going to sit him in my incense bowl amongst the rice. So he is there now in my little incense bowl. Thank you, Robin. That's really, really kind of you. Um, and the cards that he sent. Okay, so I will do a walkthrough of them as, as is requested. They are the Krampus playing cards, decks one and two. Um, and again, do check out his walkthroughs as well though. So Krampus playing cards, uh, this is the first deck, and then this is the set two, 54 more vintage designs. So yeah, I will do a walkthrough of them, Robin, no worries. Wow, okay. So, the last package, which I am beyond excited for. I mean, all of these are amazing, amazing, kind and generous gifts that people have sent as well. Um, but this is, I believe, it doesn't say anywhere, but I know she'd sent it signed for, and this is signed for, because obviously, like, like she said, um, she can't afford for this to go missing because she couldn't, you know, couldn't replace it. Which is also making me think that this is probably the last um, deck of hers. And of course I'm talking about uh, Poppy Palin's Waking the Wild Spirit. Oh. She's put it in this beautiful, beautiful pouch. Look at that. How beautiful is that? And then there is a card. And, oh. <laughs> she sent me a print. Um, in fact, she sent a few prints. And if you haven't seen her channel, do look at it because I absolutely love the sun card. Um, that she's created and she's put here Sky Dancer the Sun so in the original uh, tarot deck um, the titles were, were changed um, and I'm not sure if she's going to continue with that because at the moment Poppy is recreating every single one of the 78 cards and repainting them again um, and this this is the new version of Sky Dancer the Sun and isn't it just beautiful we have the moon, which is Mother Two Moons. I'm gonna to have to find a way to frame these. Rebirth, death. Oh, and it's so distinctively Poppy's work, the facial expressions and everything. Transformation, this isn't finished yet, she's put. So there's still some more work to do on that, but isn't it amazing? And then this one still needs more work, which is Wild Harvest, the world, a world card. And the transformation is the Judgment card, by the way. And then the world card. Oh, Poppy, thank you. And then she sent me a little card, um, which I won't read out. She's, she's wrote quite, quite a bit, which I'm just going to sit with my coffee afterwards and... Uh, you know, have a read of. But she's put some lovely words about me and the channel and, you know, the support. So, she's just such an amazing, an amazing lady. I just love to watch everything that she does and creates. So, this is the book that came with it, which is Stories of the Wild Spirit. 
78 Tales of Transformation. Um, and I mean, her guidebooks, I said in my Throwback Thursday last week for the Everyday Enchantment, the, it's one of the best guidebooks. You know, you don't just get the keywords, you get a description of the artwork, you get a story, because she's a storyteller, a visual storyteller. But she writes a story for each card and then she gives the meaning of the card. Um, and I think in this she's been able, because there was a tight word count on the Everyday Enchantment, but I think with this she's really been able to tell the stories, um, particularly as it's called Stories of the Wild Spirit. So I'm so looking forward to this. So we're looking at Soulmates, card six, though, The Lovers. Uh, it's called Blessed Union. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages. Ah, cannot wait. Oh my gosh, and it's sealed. It's still in its wrapper. And look at this bag. It is lined. It is so beautiful. Love it. And no, if anybody asks, no, I am not going to mod modify this deck in any way. It's going to stay exactly as it is because, you know, even if I wanted this borderless, which to be honest, I don't because Pop is creating a new deck and it is going to be borderless. That is one of the things she said she's going to insist on. And she's incorporating that into um, the artwork. She's making sure there's extra in the card for the bleed area. Um, <clears throat> But this is just wonderful. There's a couple of extra cards in here. Um, so we've got two, these are at the back. Oh, because, oh, I see what she's done. So these have spreads on the back. I thought it was extra cards, but she's used some of the cards and you've got the spreads here. So you've got the three card spread variations, past, present, future, person A, relationship, and person B. Body, mind, spirit, choice A, querent, and choice B. I like that. Um, and then a modified three card spread. So you have one and one A, two and two A, and three and three A. The bottom row of cards represent deeper truth or an understanding of hidden aspects of the original cards. Use them to give you more insight about the situation. Really clever. These cards feel great. And I always feel bad showing an out of print deck because it is so hard now to get. I have seen these on um, on eBay and look at the backs. And oh, Sandra from Sandra and Tarot also has just done a walkthrough because I asked if she would because I wanted to see all the cards. Um, you know, so similar. That's the everyday, of course, the backs of the everyday. Such beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, so I'll just show you some of the cards rather than do a full walkthrough. Um, but we have the Free Spirit card for the Fool. The Magician is Magical Spirit. And what you get here is a um, title at the top, so it's Cunning Man. And then something about that, uh, that energy, that archetype, which is the Magical Spirit. Beautiful, wise woman, wise woman for the high priestess. Look at her face, dream weaver. The empress is mother nature, of course, spirit of love. And just like um, everyday enchantment, you know, there's, there's lots of other kin within these cards as well. And they're just beautiful. Strong spirit, Lord of the Wild for the Emperor. The Hierophant is a spirit guide, an interpreter. I'll just show the majors, shall I? I want to show them all, but soulmates, the blessed union for our lovers. Hunter, spirit of clarity, and it's like the chariot, you know, aiming and steering that arrow. Look at the facial expression, the concentration. 
Natural force, wild power for strength. I'm trying to tame that beast. <laughs> Healer, wise counsellor for our hermit. Oh, look at the, the fingers touching across the table. I wonder who that is. Gorgeous. Dance of life, web of fate for the wheel of fortune. The hooded one, honourable spirit. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, and Poppy said it looks, oh no, it wasn't Poppy, it was Sandra. She said it looks like he's having his eyes poked out, <laughs> but is not. But carrying that, that sword of justice. And then we have visionary spirit. Which would be the hanged man. Rebirth for death. So I can show you um, the difference here then. So this is the new version, it's going to be in the new deck and the old version. So you can really see the difference. Look at the, the rabbit's face or the hare's face, the baby, much more everyday enchantment type of uh, facial expression, beard, everything, just gorgeous, gorgeous. So that shows you a the painstaking work that Pop is undertaking to uh, to get this new deck. I'll show the Sun card as well when I get that, the comparison. So this will be Temperance, Inner Child, Spirit of Purity. The Devil is Fiddler, Wild Spirit. Dance into the tune of the Devil. <laughs> Lightning tree, wild energy for the tower. The star is connection and source. And then we have mother two moons, sensitive spirit. And I adore both versions, sky dancer, morning star, which is the sun, the sun card. Um, and here we have what the, the new sun card is going to look like. So the hair is very different. It's, you can see there, it's much more, you know, wild. And the butterfly is in different position. So like it's actually taken to the air, flying. Oh, and Poppy was saying as well, what she has done differently is all of the artwork before would have black outlines to it, like on, on the body and everything. And she stopped doing that. She doesn't do that now. That's something what's changed in her art style. And then we have the judgment card, which is the transformation card. And the universe is the reaper, the wild harvest, which is gorgeous. Um, each of the suits has a colored border corresponding. So, um, Jack in the green, page of earth. So the earth, the pentacles, coins is green. Um, and then we have air, which is our swords, which is yellow. And then fire, which is wands, which is red. And then we have water, which is cups. This is a beautiful card. The fortune teller, page of water. Look how gorgeous that is. And that's blue. <sighs> Poppy, thank you so much. Seriously, you just do not know how blown away I am that you would gift me um, such a sought after deck um, that's been out of print for such a long time. I never thought never thought I would own this deck and, and book. Um, so thank you, thank you for um, sending me that. Um, if anybody does want to see a full walkthrough of 
each of the cards, then do check out The Whispering Well, um, Sandra's channel called The Whispering Well. She did a full walkthrough of this deck last week if you are interested in seeing the cards. Again, it is out of print, but it does come up every so often on, on eBay and places like that, or trade groups. Um, okay, so thank you for watching. I've been on for quite a while, for like 40 minutes. So um, I will be back in an hour or so um, for tonight's Throwback Thursday, which is on the Druid Craft. So hopefully you can join me for that. If you can't join me for that on Saturday at 4 p.m., Catching Up With returns, and it's with Donna from Ozark Oracle, and I'm really excited to be doing interviews again after the the break of the summer thank you for watching guys and as always go in peace namaste and blessed be